Hi friends, I hope you're having an inspiring day. We are doing a spring Princess Polly haul today. I think this is one of my first spring hauls for the season and I'm so excited because I am over winter. I am ready for the fab. I'm ready to get rid of the drab. As you all know, I am a big fan of Princess Polly. Every season I feel like I find some true gems that end up being really key staple items in my closet. So really excited to show you what I've got for the spring. I feel like we've got some fun, some fun in this haul coming up. You know your girl is into neutrals, but we played. We played around for these pieces. A very big thank you to my friends at Princess Polly as always for partnering with me and sponsoring this video. They've also given me a discount code to share with all of you as always. So it is 20 ml and that gives you 20% off site wide. And if you're new to Princess Polly, they actually ship within the United States. So there's free standard shipping for orders over $50 USD, $70 Canadian. All the duties and taxes are calculated at checkout. So there's no surprises at the door. They have really easy returns within 30 days. So if you try something on, you don't like it super easy to return and for my Canadian friends they also have afterpay but with all that I am so excited to try on these pieces with you let's get into it the first call out I have to make is the set that I'm wearing right now she's having a green moment I think I mentioned this earlier on in actually I think the winter season but I'm really having a moment with green right now I feel like it goes very well with my neutrals which you know my closet primarily is made up of it's called the Misha set and both pieces together are $72. A quick little moment for this set because it's just so cute. This color is everything. Before we get started into the categories, you know that my favorite category when it comes to Princess Polly is likely their dresses, especially for the spring summer season. But I found something revolutionary on Princess Polly this time, and it is these breast lift nipple covers. Okay, so I feel like the question I get the most, especially when I wear like strappy, strapless type tops, uh, I have a 32D chest size and everybody always asks if I wear like nipple pasties or if I wear like a strapless bra. Honestly, most of the time it's kind of like free the girls, let them run free, but I also wear nipple pasties. The problem with them I find is that they're really small petals and I don't know if you've had this, but I find that they kind of just make your nipple look really large and it doesn't actually cover your whole boob. So it just, it like creates a really odd shadow. Anyhow, these are full size. Guys, this is amazing. Okay, I've never tried these before, but basically they're like a larger pasty. So they actually cover the circumference of your, your boob area, but they've got this additional port here, which I guess you can pull and lift to wherever you want to kind of add support to, this is mind blowing. Okay, this is with, this is without. I'm gonna play around with the movement of the actual additional piece there, but I'm so excited about this. Another thing about these that I really love is that they come in a few different shades. I think there's about three shades and they're also $12. Because dresses are my favorite category for Princess Polly, let's start there. The first dress is, it's called the Hunter Dress. As you can tell, it is quite a sexy cutout. It's a long sleeve, kind of ribbed knit piece, and the bottom portion is definitely a full maxi length. But what I love about it is that it's got this gorgeous gold ring here that kind of pulls the attention to the center of your body. The back of the dress is pretty open. I'm just gonna put it on to show you because I find that with a lot of Princess Polly pieces, actually it's really difficult to show you just how beautiful they look until you put them on. The Hunter dress is $70. If you remember, I tried something on very similar from another brand, didn't end up liking it and returned that. So I've got really high hopes for this one. Here is the dress on and ah, it is everything that I wanted it to be. Look at this back situation. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Very, very into this. Another note is that it is stretchy. So if you needed to pull it down more 
or you wanted to even pull this up more to be like less revealing, you could definitely do that. The next dress here is in my very spring color palette, which is this green. This is a more of a minty green. It's called the Adriel dress. It is a very, I think, classic silhouette in terms of having an asymmetric long sleeve, great for the springtime season because you just don't really know where the weather is going to go. Uh, definitely still a party dress because it is a mini and it's got this ruching action. The ruching is just a very flattering element. It also has a really nice side zipper here. If you haven't heard me mention it in other Princess Polly hauls, I find that the quality of their pieces is really good. Something I have been looking at when I take any new pieces into my closet is really looking at the stitching, looking at the lining, how clean it is, and I find that their pieces are really well done. And the Adriel dress here is $55. Here is the green mint one strap dress on, as I mentioned, super flattering, super comfortable, mini, but not too mini where I feel uncomfortable bending down, you know? It's just the perfect length. I feel like Princess Polly does that really well, but just such a cute color for the spring season, I feel like. The next dress here is called their Energy Flow dress. Very classic wrap style mini dress. It's also got that chunky buckle hardware that kind of allows you to tie it up and wrap it kind of however you want. I really like that customization. It still has the zipper enclosure on the side, which again, just kind of lends to the quality of the piece. I love this satiny fabric that Princess Polly has. I just find it really, really comfortable. And this dress here is $69. Okay, wow, this dress is this dress is so nice. This center action here, I have never felt like I had a lot of curves, but this dress makes me feel like I have all of them. It is perfectly draped everywhere. This center circle here really, really pulls it all together. I will say that it is also really comfortable and the side zipper is a huge help because I would not have been able to get into this dress otherwise. I know when you see this next dress, you're gonna be like, that is so left field for you, Mel, because I never pick up bright colors like this anymore. Here is the next dress. It is called their Selena dress. Now, if you actually follow uh, my Instagram and or my YouTube channel, you will actually recognize the silhouette, this gorgeous wrap back detail because I actually have two of this exact same dress from Princess Polly in other prints. I adore it so much. It is one of my cult favorite Princess Polly silhouettes. It just is so flattering. It's not super mini, kind of gives you that A-line action, open back, which you know I love. The fabric is so comfortable. It's lined. It's just the best dress and I got really tempted by this beautiful purple color. So again, the Selena dress does come in different prints and colors. I have quite a few others as well, and they are $55. I am still not completely sold on whether purple is my color or not, but I'm willing to try it. I feel like this is the only purple thing I own, and it is in my favorite silhouette. This back is just super cute. I feel like I could make it a little bit longer by adjusting the straps a little bit, but I threw this on quite quickly. We knew she was gonna be cute. This next dress is most definitely for a later spring, almost summer style season, but it is this beautiful neutral tiered maxi dress. It's called their Leonardo dress. Leonardo! Coincidentally, your girl is spending a summer in Italy, but let's let's just table that discussion for a while. Uh, it is so pretty. It is this beautiful linen-y style fabric, strappy straps, um, but the back detail is very similar to the Selena dress where you've got this lace up open back detail, which is just so beautiful and sexy. Still has that zipper detail going down the back of the skirt. The linen fabric feels so, so good. And this dress here is $70. Here is the dress on. Looks super sweet and simple from the front, but from the back, oh, that very classic. I feel like it's a Princess Polly back and otherwise just such a cute spring dress. Super fresh. I am often a creature of habit and you know that this is one of my favorite dress silhouettes. This is a little bit of a variation. I have a camel style midi version of a dress similar to this, but 
it is called their river mini dress it's in this ribbed fabric otherwise a very simple classic mini ribbed tight almost bodycon style dress but it's got this really nice turtleneck action and now because I really like this silhouette, I feel like I've become a little bit of an expert in terms of what to look for. And I really like when the armholes kind of come up and to the side and almost make it look as if it's a halter top. Almost when you can see your collarbone here, I find it just creates a really sexy, elegant look. And this classic beauty is $55. Here is the turtleneck dress on and I was so confident about it because I just felt like it had all the qualities that I look for in a dress like this. So as you can see, this is the collarbone situation that I was talking about that I feel like is so sexy. One huge call out for this dress that I feel like isn't talked about enough with turtleneck dresses is just how stretchy the neckline is. So if the neckline is not super stretchy like this, it feels like it is suffocating you and is also just impossible to get into, especially with a full face of makeup. So you do not have that problem with this dress. And otherwise, this dress is just a classic. I feel like everybody needs a dress like this in their life. This next dress is cottagecore romance, summer in Europe vibes, but for the spring. And I'm just manifesting. Man manifesting those other things for myself for the rest of the year. It is this super cute dress called their Lovebirds dress. You'll see that it's got these ruched ruffle sleeves. You've got this almost bustier action tie up corset detail here, which has darts for where your girls sit. Another little design detail to look out for when you want to find dresses that just fit really well. You know when you look on like TikTok or Instagram or whatever and you're like, this dress fits her so well. It's because of these little elements on the design of the dress that allow you to kind of play around and really form fit the dress to you without it obviously being a bespoke dress. Now it also has smock detailing uh, at the back so it's stretchy again to kind of form fit your body uh, and then you've got this little bit of a looser skirt style action and as I expected it is lined as well another thing I like to look at. This definitely plays on my feminine romantic side, but loved the print here. I've actually had a blue set from Princess Polly with the same print. Uh, but this dress here is $60. Here is the dress on, and it is not only so cute, but as I was mentioning to you, fits like a glove. I don't know how they do this, but they just do. With all the little tie-up details, the little ruching, all the dresses just feel like they fit so so well as if it was just perfectly tailored to my body and one of the reasons one of the many reasons why i just adore princess polly's dresses pieces in general but dresses especially and how cute is this dress another category that i love 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 from princess polly is their sets as you can tell i just find that it's a lot of bang for your buck and i always find that i get really core pieces uh, together at quite a good deal uh, because you're getting a two-for-one special so I did pick up a few sets the one I'm wearing obviously the next one here is actually a very simple kind of bandeau tie up top crop almost bra style action as well as the matching skirt so what drew me is actually this ruched skirt I actually wanted to get a ruched skirt like this happened to come with this really cute bandeau detail it actually has this crepe style fabric i would say where you see a lot of texture i find that for something very simple like this set it's nice to have sort of a little bit of texture to play around with to kind of make it more interesting these pieces are called the matilda set and the two together come out to 73 dollars i would say that this set might be a little bit more summer geared or really late spring gear depending on where you're from but it is nevertheless a super cute set and for me the big winner was the skirt i have been looking for a skirt like this with this sort of texture for so long and the fact that it just comes with this little bonus is really just that it's a bonus but I saw this skirt because it is just so comfortable just paired with a t-shirt or something like that or even a blouse this could obviously be transformed into a really cute set for the summer season, but for the spring season, that's kind of how I envisioned it. And I feel like I need a vacation now, now that I'm looking at this. This next set here is more of a layering piece. I kind of envisioned it underneath a 
chunky blazer or underneath a really chunky cardigan, something like that. But it is this duo knitwear set. I have a couple of little bralettes like this that I wore a lot through the spring summer season. I just found that I was wearing it both as a bra sort of camisole action underneath a blouse, but also kind of on its own if I wanted to be, you know, super sexy, but also layer it with things. I personally like it layered, like even just underneath this green short sleeve cardigan, I feel like is a really cute look. This one actually has a really nice thick back strap here. It's not adjustable, uh, something just to call out. So you might want to keep an eye on your size. So for me, for example, my bottoms are typically smaller or size small, but my top sometimes can push into a size medium. So for this one here, I did choose the medium large and I'm feeling very good about this decision. And these pieces together for the shorts and the little bra top here are $65. Oh my gosh, is she officially a cool girl? Just joking, but this set I am so, so happy about. Honestly, I haven't found a set like this that has actually fit me and this is the first one that actually has in all ways. I do have a little bit of extra room here, but to be honest, it definitely feels more comfortable than getting the size that's too small for me. I will say that the shorts are also stretchy, so although they are considered a larger size, I would say that they still fit pretty well. I definitely can see how they skew multiple sizes, but it is really comfortable, a really nice, thick knit. Obviously, I wouldn't wear this just like this out by lounging around the house if I wanted to be like really cute, like a really cute look. <laughs> just chilling around the house. I could definitely do that, but I envision this kind of with a blazer over top, that kind of layered look. You know what I mean? Last up in apparel is jackets and blazers because I feel like that is what spring is about. We are ditching our puffers and our parkas thank goodness, and moving into the spring season. So the first one I got here is this oversized blazer, boyfriend blazer style. I have quite a few of these. I don't really have any in this dusty brown look. Gives it a sort of pre-vintage feel. It does have a little bit of a shoulder pad action here. Not enough to actually look like a shoulder pad, but enough to kind of keep the structure of the blazer sitting on your shoulders, which is more important than you would think, especially with oversized blazers like this. This blazer here, which is called their Millicent blazer, is $93. Okay, what? How cute is this outfit? This is exactly how I envisioned wearing this with this little set underneath of the blazer. This blazer is super, super well made. As I mentioned, because of the shoulder pad detail there, it actually sits flush on your shoulder and then drapes nicely down so you don't have that sort of bubble effect. Really nicely oversized, covers your bum. So, I mean, I guess if you wanted to wear this as a dress, it'd be a really short dress. I personally wouldn't, but I could see how somebody would. Uh, but it's just a really cute piece. And the color, I think, is just perfect for the spring season. I feel like it goes really well with pastels, but just the light neutrals in general as well. And you know, I just cannot resist a good tailored moment. Look at these lapels, so cute. Last but not least is this gorgeous green bright sweater jumper. It has a little bit of a turtleneck cowl neck detail, a very classic fit. It does have a straight line action in terms of how it falls. A little bit of ruching, we'll see if it, if it bubbles. I don't think it will, just because it is a nice lighter sweater knit. Uh, it doesn't have a very heavy feel to it. So this is definitely one of those pieces that you would layer, but I will say it is super, super soft. And obviously this really bright green is a really trendy color right now. And this gorgeous green sweater here is $68. Here is the green sweater on. It fits really well. I love the sleeve length at Princess Polly. I find that I never have those too short of a sleeves from pieces from them. I don't know why, I don't know if it's intentional, but I love it because I have super long arms and just having the flexibility to push things up and give them sort of shape instead of it falling, you know, like this too short. Actually, this looks really cute, but it's because I ruched it up. And you know, we did the itch test and this sweater ain't itchy. Very, very important. Last but not least, let's talk about accessories. Accessories at Princess Polly are so fire. Honestly, if you are looking for anything on trend, 
this is where you go and get it. But I've had my eyes on something like this for a while. It is this gorgeous rhinestone mesh bag. Funny enough, I actually purchased a designer dress that is fully made from this material. I color matched it and it actually is the exact same. I paid quite a bit for that dress, so I'm kind of uh, rethinking that decision. This one here does have an interior pouch, which has a zipper. I'm not, I normally wear my designer purses exclusively, you guys kind of know that, but every once in a while I like to get a fun party bag and this is definitely it. It's still fully lined, which is truly incredible. It also comes with a crossbody chain. Here is the crossbody chain, which honestly you could loop around, make it a shoulder bag or a little just a wristlet. This is the cutest party bag and I also tested it fits my phone plus a few credit cards. What else do you need to go out for a little soiree? It's called the Larson Crossbody and it is $40. And very last but not least, got these super cute flip-flop style platforms, very reminiscent of <laughs> my 90s life, which I feel like is truly making a comeback. But these ones here, I felt like were gonna be great for just being like around even the house, but also out to run quick errands, really casual, but still a look, you know what I mean? And these platform cuties are $59. And that's it for my early spring Princess Polly haul. I hope you liked it. I am so excited to wear these pieces and take photos in them and feel really cute in them, which honestly is what I feel like Princess Polly's pieces are great for in my closet. I obviously have other brands which are my go-tos for staples, basics, things like that. But Princess Polly is one of those brands where I go to to play around, have fun, experiment with trends. That's that. I hope you guys liked hanging out with me. I love hanging out with all of you. Hope you liked my picks. Let me know what you think in the comment box below as always. If you are new to the Inspire family, of course, we would love it if you join us and subscribe. But with that, friends, I hope you have an inspiring rest of your day. I really hope that you're starting to see spring where you live. For us in Toronto, Canada, we are definitely starting to see spring. So very excited about that. But with that, remember kindness doesn't cost a thing and I will talk to you next time. Bye!